fun season. It involved a lot of late night essay writing, a lot of edits. You should see the folders on my computer. Edit number one, edit number two, edit number three. It goes like to 10 edits. And when we finally got our college results, I'd gotten into USC and Carnegie Mellon, but I did get a couple of rejection letters, and I was really, really devastated. I mean, April 1st was, to say the least, not my favorite day in the whole world. And that was the day that college results came out. And I actually didn't know about Georgetown that day because I was out of town and Georgetown comes in the mail. So I assumed by then that I didn't get into Georgetown either and I was really, really upset with myself. Why? Because I told myself, well, why did I go through all that effort? I put in all these things and I did all these things I was passionate about and yet I didn't get the results that I'd hoped to get. And I was really disappointed and I was wondering if I had made a mistake by just going the route of doing things I liked and instead just padding my resume to get into the college that I wanted to go to. Well, luckily Georgetown did work out for me and I'm really excited to be there in Washington DC. But I also realized that there is never, never a time in your life when you should regret doing something that you love. Do what you love and love what you do, right? It's as simple as that. And if you are passionate, yeah, sometimes things in life don't work out. But sometimes things have to fall to pieces so you can pick them back up and build it, rebuild it to even better than it was before. So in everything that you do, be passionate. Because in the end, things are meant to work out a certain way. And it's only when we fall down that we learn how to get back up. And I mean, we all learn from experience, right? We've all had those experiences that, I mean, they were tough to get through. But looking back, we can either laugh because they were embarrassing situations, or we can look back and say, hey, we learned a lot from that. And that is what your college experience should be like. And especially through high school. High school, enjoy your high school years. I mean, there are times that I wished I hadn't gone to Mariloma. But looking back, when I was sitting there in the aud well, I guess it's not really the audience, but sitting at my graduation and listening to everybody talking, I definitely realized I didn't regret my four years at Mariloma or my four years at high school. And it was a good memory. And I learned a lot from it. And I hope that with this program, you'll learn how to maximize your high school experience and also have a great college experience. And to help us with that, we have a number of speakers today. But first order of business. Um, restrooms are out to the right. That is definitely important and you wanna know that.